So one of the most common disease processes that we see in interventional pain or interventional neurology is a herniated disc. It's very common in the community. People describe it as their sciatica, pain shooting down my leg to my toes. I always describe it as someone pitching a wire. So the disc ruptures like a jelly donut, hits the nerve, and it shoots down to the distribution or area that the nerve goes to. Treatment for this is anywhere from injections to physical therapy to medications. Um, from a surgical standpoint, the most common surgery is a micro disectomy. When a surgeon says micro disectomy, they basically cut the portion of that jelly donut that's sticking out. As you can imagine, it's no longer the same jelly donut because that has been removed. The thing that's interesting about a micro disectomy is when they cut it, there's nothing to seal it. So the disc is never the same that it was before. DisFX is a much less invasive option than a micro disectomy. When a surgeon does a micro disectomy, they remove anywhere from 10 to 12 cc's of disc material. With a DisFX, I'm removing an order of three to four cc's. So I'm maintaining much more of that disc height. Also, after I remove the material, I create a burn to reseal what is torn. So I'm, I'm providing a seal to where that disc material came out, as opposed to a microdiscectomy that doesn't provide any seal. A disfx procedure takes me five to 10 minutes. A microdiscectomy is a larger incision with a longer operating time as well as recovery. And the other beautiful thing about trying a disfx First, if it doesn't work, a microdiscectomy is still an option.